Hello students, in this video we will continue the summary of the essay a Writing from the Margin by Shashi Deshpande. Shashi Deshpande comments on Ranjana Ayer's remark on women's writing in English. According to Ranjana Ash, the dominant note in women's writing in English is that of feminism. It is a writing that celebrates women. Ranjana Ash contrasts women's writing to the broader humanism of earlier writers. Shashi Deshpande agrees with Ranjana Ash to certain extent. She says the statement celebrating women is positive, while there is an implication that women's writing is narrow and limited when she contrasts it to the broad humanism of male writers. Shashi Deshpande wants to see it as focusing and not narrow. In Ranjana Ayer's remark, there is the positive note of celebration but when she contrasts it to the broad humanism, women's writing appears somewhat narrow. Shashi Deshpande doesn't want it to be narrow but she wants it to be focused. Uh, she feels that nothing can be achieved without focusing. For women, it is not possible to go to the broader humanism without coming to terms with their own being. They will need more time to do that. She gives the example of a Dalit writer whose son reviewed his father's work. He wrote, uh, that he wants his father to go beyond the facts of oppression, to be free of bitterness and to go on to positive achievements. For the current generation of Dalit writers, this may be possible. But for the father's generation, they are still obsessed with the facts of oppression, bitterness, etc. So it takes time for them to look at uh, positive achievements by going beyond oppression and bitterness. Marathi writer Gauri Deshpande calls it the next step. Shashi Deshpande feels that one must have an understanding of his own individual self. It is only through this that we get a glimpse of human condition. Feminist critics have been saying that women's writing has to be read differently. We need to put aside all the assumptions that have come from reading the writing of men. We need to forget about the male norm and look at all writing with a different vision. So, men's writing and women's writing need a different kind of interpretation. We should put aside our ideas of what is important and what is not. The game of major and minor. As an American writer, Mary Gordon bitterly called it. According to which, she says, Hemingway's writing of boys in the woods is major. While Catherine Mansfield writing about girls in the home is minor. This kind of a view comes out from the reader's or critic's perception. It doesn't lie in the text itself, according to Shashi Deshpande. She quotes Annette Collodny, who says in her brilliant analysis of a short story, in her article, A Map for Rereading, I quote, The very act of perception becomes sex-coded. Men do not perceive things in the same way as women do. Men lack familiarity with the women's 
ఇమాజినేటివ్ యూనివర్స్ అన్కోట్ యానిట్ కొలాడ్ని కాల్సెట్ అ ఫ్రిక్షన్ రెండరింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద డైలెమా ఆఫ్ ద ఉమెన్ రైటర్ మెన్ ఆర్ టోన్ డెఫ్ టు అ ఉమెన్స్ వాయిస్ యాజ్ యానిట్ కొలాడ్ని రిమార్క్స్ ద మేల్ ఈజ్ అ డిఫరెంట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ రీడర్ వేర్ ద విమెన్ ఆర్ కన్సర్న్డ్ he is often an inadequate reader regarding the impact of feminism on women's writing shashi deshpande says at the end of 19th century and the beginning of 20th century women began to become visible due to increased education and participation of women in freedom struggle there has been increase in the writing of women in all genres and scholarly works on various subjects over the last 25 to 30 years she agrees with what hindi writer mahadevi varma said that women lack confidence in themselves Shashi Deshpande believes that for a writer lack of confidence is like death to lack confidence in what one is saying is a literary suicide in recent years women's writing has been liked to feminism and has gained a certain respectability and slightly greater importance in india women's writing has been elevated to the class of protest writing though this trend is a welcome to certain extent it has its own hazards the writing has to justify itself the ideology it is supposed to represent which means that a women writer is tied down to a feminist agenda in real life people do not live their lives according to any ideology as there are contradictions in the author there are contradictions in the character too looking for feminism in a woman's writing is not acceptable on being asked why most of her characters stay within the limits of an abusive marriage shashi deshpande replies it is not walking out of marriage that always liberates one understanding oneself is what really liberates it's open it opens up a number of possibilities to walk out means to carry the old self with oneself so ideology is different writing is different sometimes feminism seeps into a uh, writer's writing but it need not be always just like a novel within a male with a male protagonist is not writing of men in the same way a novel with a female protagonist need not be a writing of women whenever a woman writer writes something it need not be always writing about women in the same way men always don't write about men why should we categorize jaya saru madhu as women when they call when they can be themselves now these are characters from uh, deshpande's novels why should we categorize them um, as women always they are individuals that is what uh, shashi deshpande says here she quotes sir william james who said i quote probably a crab would be filled with a sense of personal outrage if it could hear us class it as a crustacean and thus dispose of it i am no such thing i would say i am myself and myself alone unquote so every character has individuality just like 
the author has so we must not categorize authors as well as characters as women most of the time secondly one is the writing of humans in different circumstances living in different conditions and different personalities that all of them should react in the same way is impossible to imagine for instance shashi deshpande talks about her characters from different novels and says that they are different women with different desires frustrations and ambitions and they come to terms with their problems in their own way thirdly each novel written by a feminist need not be a picture of rebellion or propagate feminism to work out a feminist propaganda through her writing is to create one dimensional social picture the women in desh pandey's novels are like humans anywhere in the world they have so many forces working on them there is history culture religion customs individual and family faiths and beliefs family traditions and histories interpersonal relationships when feminism enters into this already complicated setup it is just one of the factors and not the only one so there can be many different forces acting on a character and feminism is just one of those and it need not be the only factor that is acting on that character besides a purely feminist reading also diminishes or even distorts the truth of a text making feminism the touchstone of good writing by women literary merit will be sacrificed at the altar of this new vision literary excellence of the book must be the first priority if we prioritize feminism then literary excellence will take second place the debate about committed writing the problem of balancing aesthetics and literary values with an ideology of whether art should be for art sake is an ongoing one in our country for shashi deshpande committed writing is a separate category literary aesthetics matter there too but the priority is always the aim of getting a message across to be judged purely as a feminist writing is a problem so she doesn't want to be only a feminist writer there is also the danger of writers themselves using feminism to validate their writing by being a feminist one cannot be a part of the mainstream additionally there is the unpleasant consequence of producing stereotypes of the suffering victim or the strong woman one could see the stereotypes in movies where there is one kind of women who are extremely submissive or another who are extremely violent shashi deshpande believes that feminism has taken women writers out of the margin but it has deposited them into a ghetto when women's writing is read reviewed studied and published by women shashi deshpande feels alarmed because these readers fail to see the human values of their work so in uh, shashi deshpande's opinion feminism need not be the only concern of writers by uh, 
all the time including feminism in one's work there is a danger of creating stereotype characters like one who is extremely submissive or another who is always violent regarding the ma- the ways of getting into the mainstream shashi deshpande rather humorously says success is one factor that ensures entry into the mainstream for example arundhati roy who because of the book a prize that he got became immediately a mainstream writer age can also get one out of the ghetto because they are taken in as token members once involvement with caste class uh, and active profession of feminism apart from feminism confirms mainstream status as well through the years it has become clear that the accusation of triviality must be ignored according to hindi writer mrudula garg it is a critics who consistently keep writing by women out of the general assessment of literature and keep them confined within the zanana according to shashi deshpande good writing leaps at the reader crossing over the boundaries of class gender nationality etc the experience of being human unites us after all so if one is especially good then uh, it reaches to the reader irrespective of whether one is mainstream writer or marginal writer literature is the writer's response to his or her society it is the sincerity and artistry which this is articulated that decides whether it is a good or great literature no literature can be regarded as minor merely because of the gender of the writer or the characters the writer is writing about equally untenable is the charge that women's experience being limited their works can never be great it is not writing for large issues that makes a literature great all writers are limited to some degree or other in their experiences a writer writes about a slice of life which she or he knows best whether it is large slice or small one is not important ultimately what matters is how much and how well the writer is able to communicate with the reader while writing an article about women writers in english some time ago shashi adesh pande found that many women writers stopped writing after just one novel or two she does not know the reason for their sudden uh, disappearance in her case it was the faith in herself that made her continue to write and the support of her readers regarding margin and mainstream shashi deshpande is of the opinion that the mainstream is a contribution of various streams each of which has its own place in the ocean they create by coming together so in deshpande's opinion mainstream is the collection or it is the uniting point of all other streams of writing the question of center or margin is connected to where one stands when she first begins to write she leaves a large margin which eventually fills up with alterations corrections and uh, new ideas and so on in time 
margin is full with words and uh, it starts creeping to the center eventually margin and text merge because what she writes is mostly from the margin the margin takes over and it becomes the real text